Sheesh. That is like uh, four inches of mud in there. Hey everybody, welcome back to Nico Brothers. I'm out here at Copar Yard to check out all the flood vehicles, all the commotion, what happens to the vehicles after the flood and the hurricane, and what's the next step. Jane okay, guys, so this is outside the yard, the bullpen. This is pretty crazy. They're not even processing these cars coming in yet. It's just being flooded with vehicles. Dang guys, a lot of commotion out here already. I've already been stopped saying, hey, what are you doing? Why are you recording? Too much going on. But luckily I got the permission to record. But dang, so many cars coming in, so many cars coming out. A lot of movement going on. A lot of cars are coming in with roof damage, basically from fallen trees or thing like, like, things like that. But a lot of them are gonna be coming that are flood damage, so from this hurricane. I'm sure you guys seen all the news of all the hurricanes hitting and already happened. So we're here in the upstate South Carolina area. And basically all the cars from the North Carolina Asheville area are gonna be coming here to our local yard, which is pretty insane. They said they're gonna be having an estimated seven to 8,000 cars coming into this yard alone. That's four times the amount of volume they normally have. Copart has a cat team, basically a deployment after any kind of catastrophic event out there to get the cars loaded, get the cars moved, and eventually get the people paid out sooner. There's already thousands of cars here, and this is just the beginning. Basically, they're gonna be doing this for the next couple weeks, working from seven to seven, seven days a week, nonstop, cars coming in, cars coming out, just trying to handle this flow of all this crazy disaster. Huge variety of cars, from trucks to campers to S2000s, I mean, crazy so it's still too early most of these cars aren't even processed a lot of them are just coming in because like i said the tree damage but most of the flooded cars are not even here yet man time will tell the amount of rebuild flooded damaged cars that are about to hit the market is gonna be insane i mean there's some dealerships completely flooded out hundreds and hundreds of brand new cars flooded and it's not just here in upstate south carolina north carolina georgia florida all across the coast cars are being salvaged out and brought to Copart. So it seems like the main yard is getting filled with cars from previous wrecks and everything like that and they're moving all the flooded vehicles to the sublot which is thankfully across the street. Sometimes they're hours away so it's nice it's local and it looks like they have a lot of space so that's good too because they're about to get a lot of inventory. All right, guys, I'm actually heading over to the sub lot. That's where it seems like I said all the flooded cars are going to. I actually brought the truck and trailer because I bought a car, a truck, actually. I'm going to pick it up, too, a little bit later. Why not? Two birds with one stone. But I really am interested in see what's going on, the progress of all these flooded vehicles. It's pretty crazy. Usually, we just pull up to a copart yard and it's already done. But this is like the beginning stages of it. So far, they're really organized. There's a lot of moving parts, a lot of commotion. But it seems like things are flowing well. See if we get inside and check them out. All right, guys, just waiting for the gates to open so I could go check out all the flooded vehicles. We're basically just gonna see the aftermath of all the flooded cars that happened. I mean, it's still the beginning of it. It just happened. We were affected a little bit here in the upstate, but my heart goes out in prayer for all the people in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, all the way to North Carolina. Man, it's devastating. So Copart's doing their best to handle the flow of all the vehicles coming in, and there's definitely gonna be an overwhelming amount of vehicles coming, so that's pretty crazy. So we're definitely living through history, one of the craziest hurricanes to come all the way up into the mountains. I mean, that's unheard of. So what happens to all these vehicles? So basically they just get taken to the yard right away so that they can start processing all the paperwork, their insurance, and people get paid out. Every state has different rules and depending on what county you live in, but South Carolina has declared a state of emergency in most counties. So even if you're not insured, they are gonna help out and get you paid back. Counties who had uninsured damage or losses caused by Hurricane Helene are eligible to apply for FEMA disaster assistance. I'm not sure any of that guy is not political, but we'll see, hopefully they help. Well guys, we're inside. We're gonna check out these flooded vehicles. Here at Nico Brothers, we believe in the rebuild life. So this is the step one of getting things back in the road. You know, basically kind of getting back to normal. So I know it's wrecked, I know it's salvaged, a lot of stuff is destroyed, but there's a lot of things that are able to get rebuilt. So you gotta move forward, you gotta keep going one step at a time. Man, it's definitely just hard to stomach all the damage. Everybody that lost all these cars, but at the end, cars could be replaced and hopefully the insurance pays them out and they get a new ride. Just care for the family members and the people's safety. So basically they tape off the top of the door and it's actually slightly open, or if you can see that or not, 
to prevent further water damage. So this is letting the car breathe. Air's coming in, air's coming out, and letting all that moisture just come out so it doesn't mold. Because a lot of these cars, I don't know, <laughs> could be salvaged out for parts, but there's definitely a lot of inventory. Some are definitely parts cars, and some could be restored and back on the road. Some, not all. So they'll usually put a water line where they're estimated level how high the water got and then also tape it off for the air ventilation. So that is really nice. And most of these are future sales, but getting processed and getting ready to go on the auction. Most of these are freshwater floods due to all the rain and flooding. Like I said, we're inland and the hurricane came in. So it wasn't salt water, which is good, but this water still is very destructive. Water line basically on the roof. Time to get my gloves out, guys. Definitely a parts car. So back in 2022, Hurricane Ian hit Florida as well, and it caused an estimated $112 billion of damage all around. There's close to 358,000 cars that were salvaged out due to water damage. So I don't even know what's gonna happen here, Hurricane Helene and Milton, all that crazy stuff going on. So who knows the amount of damage and vehicles that already flooded out. It's about to be pretty crazy, guys. But stay tuned, join us in the journey. We're definitely gonna be following this along. I mean. There's gonna be a lot more inventory, so it is time to buy, but you have to be careful as well, because some of these cars, most of these cars are definitely wrecked. Positive note, a lot of parts cars. Sheesh. We've actually been dealing with flooded cars for years. I mean, every year there's a hurricane, except back in 2022, Hurricane Ian hit. We actually bought that Corvette C8 and drove it home from Florida. So there are still good deals out there. You just have to, be cautious, be patient. I recommend some leg work, but definitely time to buy with all this inventory coming in. Be smart about it. There's some good deals and some stuff gets really flooded. You gotta be careful because all the computers go bad. I mean, my mom had a flooded vehicle from Texas for about eight years. She loved it. We got her new one recently. There's some good deals and there's some bad deals, just like everything. Looks like they're keeping all the electric vehicles and hybrids separate just in case there's fires or something else happens, some corrosion. There's about to be a flood wave of flooded cars coming soon. Hopefully the previous owners get all paid out and get themselves a new ride. We got old cars, new cars. The water doesn't discriminate, it takes it all. Man, this one wrecked. Thousands and thousands of vehicles, different selections, all makes and models. Whatever you want. Thank guys. This one's definitely been submerged, but would you like to see us rebuild it? I mean, it's definitely possible. Anything is possible. Is it worth the time? Probably not, <laughs> but anything's possible. Sheesh, that is like uh, four inches of mud in there. Wow, that's insane. 
still with the right amount of money and time, you can make this go back in the road. Just gonna replace everything. But it's possible. Realistically, this is a good parts car. Front bumper, door panels, doors, wheels, things like that. We have bought completely submerged cars before and lost thousands of dollars. So, <laughs> we're gonna be cautious. Depends what you're doing it for, and if you get it for a good price, yeah, there's definitely potential for good parts, but restoring it, I don't think so. So a lot of the workers, the forklift drivers, the guys prepping the cars are actually from the CAT team. Uh, that means they're from all across America, New Jersey. I was talking to some of them are really far away and they all just kind of come for a short time and to help them get through this load. Whew, some of these flooded vehicles are definitely insane. I'm just waiting out here now for my Ram that I bought. Bought a little before, like a week or something ago. It's time to pick it up. <laughs> just a little knee assembly damage, so we'll check that out. But man, definitely crazy times and crazy times ahead. Got ourselves a 2021 Ram 1500. Big horn, got some nice wheels on there. A little dusty for sure, but this is the good side. Check out the damage. A little bit right there in the rear bumper. Moving on to some bed damage right there. Sheesh. Current airbags deployed. Wheels ripped off. The inner tire right in is all bent out of shape. ABS wire ripped off, but low control arms there. The frame looks good. Upper is a little bent, but the frame is nice. That's what matters. Bumper should be too bad. 2021 Ram 1500 Hammy. 5.7 liter. We got this thing for $6,700. Not too bad. I think it's a good deal. All right guys, so basically that's the aftermath of the hurricane here in upstate South Carolina. Just a quick update on the cars coming into the insurance auction. But yeah, stay tuned because we do want to go down to Florida and see what's going on over there. I heard it's even crazier than ever before. So yeah, maybe we'll make a trip down there soon. Make sure to subscribe, hit, some, hit that like button, leave some comments down below. We'll catch you next time.